No, I think this will work. You know what this is for? I plan to eat as many chocolate bars as I can today, and I need this to keep it cold. Uh, let's make today glorious. What are you talking about? We're team four now. We got last place. What do you think about Red Lobster? You really want to know? So I need to know why we're in last place. I incentivized you with Red Lobster and that wasn't enough. I give you smelling salts to turn you into zombies on crank and that wasn't enough. What do I got to do? All right, so. I need everybody here to grab a bar. This is not an option. Yeah, pick anyone you want except this one. Not this one. No, you can't have this one. No, you can't have this one either. Which one do you want? We go only take one, right? No, take as much as you want. Yeah, that's the original flavor. Those are both almonds. Look at this. You guys are more excited about this than Red Lobster. Tell me what you think about that. <laughs> I bought 10 of every flavor of Mr. Beast bars because I realized the last time I did this, I didn't try every flavor. So now I have to complete the circle. What would you rank that? Mm, I'll give it a, um, I'll give it a, um, I'll give it a, um, I'll give this bar a smooth. I'm gonna give you an 8.7. Hmm, that's a high ranking. Which one do you have there, Fabian? Everybody likes the almond, huh? I didn't try the milk chocolate or the sea salt yet. Which one do you have, you already? Chocolate. Milk chocolate. Is that one good? It's a lot See, of chocolate. This guy, you like dark chocolate? You like almond? No. Yeah. That dark chocolate is real chocolate. Anything else is not real chocolate. What do you mean? Do you know how chocolate works? It's based on percentages, right? So this is 85% cacao. Cacao is the original plant. That's how much of the plant is in the bar. Yeah. How's nobody <laughs> dipping into the quinoa crunch though? Nobody likes quinoa here? There you go. Flacco, what's going on? Are you watching your figure? If you're tired, we got plenty of sugar on the table. All right, I've already had this flavor, but it's my favorite one thus far. It's quinoa crunch. It's like a crunch bar. <laughs> nah, you really like chocolate. <laughs> what gave it away? Oh. You know you're winning in life when you're carrying a suitcase full of chocolate bars. Ah, it's heavy. I should have put the ice in the van first. Ah, I hope I have enough space for my packages. Kicked off my shoes, dancing in the rain. My jacket is cape, to my brother as a cane. The richest man rocks the fashion. Christian I got you a chocolate bar. Which one you want? You want sea salt or original? Original. Original. Ah! It's okay, it's still edible. Uh, would you like a sea salt chocolate bar? Oh, no, thank you. Yeah. So you like chocolate, you just don't like my chocolate? <laughs> I understand. What's up, brother? You want a chocolate bar? Oh, sure. There you go. Did any, all right. Did I happen to leave my vest in anybody's van? I feel like I accidentally left my vest in somebody's van, mistaking it for mine. Please don't tell me you pulled some shenanigans and stole my vest from my van. Did you steal my vest? Oh God, I have way too many of these. Chocolate bar? What is it? It's a chocolate no. bar. Well, I got a bunch of different flavors here. I got quinoa crunch, I got milk chocolate, I got dark chocolate. Dark uh, chocolate, baby. You don't sure. want sea salt? Sea salt? Yeah. You don't want to get fancy with it. You could have both of them if you want. What do you like, some from a company or something? No, I'm just a ridiculous guy. Do you like quinoa? Oh, nice, okay. Yeah, but I got milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. I don't have any Amazon packages, but I got chocolate bars, huh? the ones that are gonna make me hallucinate. Mr. Beast. I want those. Potential. Yeah, yes, I do. I just watched his clip last there you night, go. dude. I watch him all the time. Oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. You can have both. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. 
I'm gonna start off by flavoring my palate with a chocolate that I'm looking forward to the least, milk chocolate by Mr. Beast. Only five ingredients. Cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic chocolate liqueur, organic milk, and organic vanilla powder. The reason I say I'm looking forward to this the least is that it is simply milk chocolate. Milk chocolate is not something I usually go after simply because it, I don't believe it is real chocolate. But I understand there's people that enjoy milk chocolate just in the same way there's people who eat their pizza with a knife and fork. I have nothing against them. And I have nothing against you if that's your preference. I have yet to even try it. Oh, is it melting? Nope, still cold. All right, not gonna lie, I might finish this one. I like it. Y'all know who Mr. Beast is, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You want one of his chocolate bars? You know which one you want. Original. There you go. Let's see if I got another original. There you go. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Would you like a chocolate bar? Free chocolate bar. Why wouldn't you? <sighs> Everybody loves chocolate. Now, ideally, on my days off, I'd be just sitting at home watching YouTube eating chocolate bars anyway, so I figured, why not bring home to work? Gonna drop. Don't drop. It takes a certain precise skill to deliver this many packages while eating a chocolate bar. I'm eating the almond crunch one again. I've already tried this one before last time, but I like it. Look, I know it's a bad idea to be eating this much chocolate, but in the moment, I seem to not care. Don't you hate it when they don't give you a unit number to an apartment complex? So you're expected to show up to the office, but the office is locked. <sighs> I really have no other option just to sit here and eat chocolate. I'll finish my almond one actually. Oh God, I shouldn't have finished that chocolate bar. You know, I told myself at the start of this video that I would only take one bite of each bar and just put it away for later. But apparently I just can't help myself but to finish the entire chocolate bar. Okay, I think it's time to start admitting that I might have a problem. Oh, I need a doctor. Whoa, look at this. What happened? What did I do to warrant such a daring rescue? Oh, I don't know. You just want chocolate bars, don't you? You got chocolate bars? You want ch Let's see, I got milk chocolate, I got sea salt. This one's half eaten, that's mine. You want, you want a dark? No, 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 milk. Milk. Oh yeah, I got almond. But it's dark. It's not that dark. It honestly tastes all right. You could have multiple chocolate bars if you want. Don't be afraid no, to no, ask no, for no. multiples. Make sure you eat that before it melts. No, I'm gonna eat this right now. People often mistake me for Mr. Beast, and I have to remind them that I am no, not. You're not. I'll give it a 6.65. Wow. Pretty high up there. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, the day keeps getting better. Now I have to revert back to the original flavor, which is just dark chocolate. I know what dark chocolate tastes like, and I've had this one numerous times, but I feel like at this point I have to neutralize my palate in preparation for the sea salt flavor, which is what I'm looking forward to most. I need to decide if sea salt's gonna be my new favorite or if it's still the reigning quinoa crunch. This is very dangerous what I'm doing. The last time I did a Mr. Beast chocolate bar review video, I had to take a YouTube hiatus due to the sugar coma I was forced in after eating so many chocolate bars. Now, don't get me wrong, these Beast Bars are absolutely delicious, but it's not something I would casually keep in my chocolate collection. Now, you could tell, obviously, that Feastables is going for a healthier approach with the organic ingredients and whatnot, but it's just so much sugar. Like, I could honestly feel it weighing on me, and I'm not even halfway through my route. Now, on top of the large quantities of the sugar in each bar, I have one more complaint. Man, how are you gonna give me a plain white shirt to eat my chocolate in? That's either a genius marketing move for repeat business because everybody's gonna have chocolate stains all over it or a severe oversight. I do like the fit though. Look at this, I already stained it. I literally already stained my Mr. Beast shirt. I'm in desperate need of a piece of bacon or a salty potato chip of some sort. Which brings me on to exhibit A. Chocolate sea salt. You like sea salt and you like chocolate on it? I have like so many of them and I have to get rid of them. Please don't make me eat them all. This will be my final chocolate taste testing before I pass out from sugar crash. Mr. Beast Bar chocolate sea salt. No. Huh? I mean, if you eat enough of it, you get a salty aftertaste, but where's the salt? No, it's not doing it for me. I mean, I'm gonna keep chewing on it, but I don't think it's it. I just engulfed myself in a sea of sugar for nothing. Uh, uh, I'm never doing this again. Mike. Uh, you okay? 
Uh. Okay. When you see a child do the same thing, you think, oh, well, he'll grow up sometime. So the question is, why doesn't he grow up? Why does he still behave as a child?